Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna switch it up a little bit instead of um, showing you how to decorate and what I bought. I'm gonna do some Halloween and fall DIYs. So I'm gonna show you everything I bought and we're gonna do three projects. So first I went to Walmart to grab a few things. They carry these in the craft section. Um, these are the round wooden sticks that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be making a fall candy bouquet, a Halloween candy bouquet, and we're gonna do these wine glasses, make them into candle holders. We're gonna do a ghost one, a pumpkin, and a Frankenstein. So these are pretty cool. These are like a dollar forty-seven. Um, you can get sixteen or twenty. So um, I had a couple left over, but I grabbed them because them to make the bouquets. They had this cute little girl scarecrow. Look at her cute little pigtails. She was a dollar. So I thought that was really cute that we can incorporate that into our fall bouquet. And then I found this spider at Walmart. This was a dollar twenty-four and you can move it around and adjust its legs. So I thought that would be cute for our Halloween bouquet. I grabbed these box candies, movie theater candy ones. You need four of them because we're going to make the Halloween one into a box. We're going to create it and grab some paint from the, the craft section. Um, these are acrylic paints and they're only 50 cents and they have like a hundred different colors. So I grabbed an orange one to make the pumpkin candle and a green one for the Frankenstein. I have some other ones uh, paint already so I'm going to use a white one to make a ghost. I had these left over. These are from the dollar store, the googly eyes. And I'm going to attach them for the ghost eyes and maybe Frankenstein. So then I stopped at the Dollar Tree. I found this cute sunflower can, which I really love. And it's pretty big so that I can insert the styrofoam to create my fall candy bouquet. So this is only a dollar. I walked over to get some um, daisy sunflower type looking flowers. So you get like five on here for one dollar. Then I found these pumpkins. So they are on sticks already. You get four for a dollar. They have glitter on them. So I'm going to use them. I'm going to split it up between the fall and Halloween bouquet. Next I found at the dollar store was these cute little witch hats. And you get three of them for a dollar. And I thought that would really, really be cute on the Halloween bouquet. And then in the dollar store, I found um, the purple roses with the eyeballs. So we're gonna incorporate that into our Halloween candy bouquet. So you pretty much wanna grab um, the fun size ones. You get five or six in a pack. So you wanna grab a few of them because you're gonna make different ones to make it all have three or four pieces of candy on the wooden stick. So I just grabbed you know, a whole bunch of Reese's, that's my favorite, some Skittles, Milky Ways, and M&M's. So um, those are gonna be separated to make the two bouquets. And then I found a pack of tea lights, which was pretty good, you get 20 of them for a dollar. And they are gonna be glued on top of this, or you can just set it on top of it, because once it runs out, you can replace it. So we're gonna turn this into this dollar wine glass, which really nice from the dollar store, I got three. We're gonna make these into spooky candle holders. So let's get started. Uh, make sure you got a glue gun. If you don't, you can buy this at Walmart, a couple bucks, and they have glue sticks. So I got all my stuff to get cracking. And you are gonna need some wire cutters or very strong scissors because when you cut these apart. So you can pick this up at the craft section at the um, Walmart or any like Joanne Fabrics. Make sure you have that ready, your glue sticks, your glue gun, and then you wanna kind of separate everything to know what you're gonna do to create it, put it together, and then we're gonna decorate it and make our projects come all together. So we're getting started with the candy. We're gonna pick three a piece and stick it onto the stick. Um, so I like to get all the candy ready so the glue can dry because it takes a little bit. You wanna have a good glue gun. Mine is not the greatest, I need to upgrade, but it does the job. So I'm just gonna quickly 
go through the candy. Once I have that all set, we're gonna start creating the bouquet. So um, get a different, you know, a couple different varieties of candy. My favorite is Reese's, but it's always great. So then I'm just gonna stick these all together kind of create a little scene. Um, I used the little scarecrow as the centerpiece and I added the pumpkins and flowers and it just came to life. I really thought it was cute and I hope you like the finished product as much as I do. So next I'm going to work on the Halloween one. So I put all the box candies together. I'm gonna glue them very tightly to make sure they stick because they're a little bit heavier. So make sure you fill in all the gaps, even if you have to go over it. Once you put it, put it all together, you can go through the sides to make sure it all sticks together. So once we have the box together, stick the styrofoam in the foam. And then I am again gonna start putting my candies on the stick. So I'm gonna make about six of these. Again, use three candies each, get the hot glue, stick the stick, and let it dry. You want it to harden up a little so they don't fall off once you start sticking them in the candy bouquet. So um, again, you know, quickly just organize your stuff so that it can just flow really good for you. So once I have all my candies set up again, I'm gonna rearrange and figure out how I wanna do this Halloween bouquet. So after the candy is setting, I'm gonna start with my main thing, which was the spider. And then I'm gonna create, again, a little, uh, I don't know, a little scene. So I love the little witch hat, so I put them in the front with the eyeball. And then I'm just gonna quickly make sure everything's even, add some more flowers for the decor. And then once I have it up, I'm gonna add another rose to the top, stick another Reese's in the back, and this little pumpkin. And here's my finished product for the Halloween bouquet. I hope you guys like it. I think it's super cute and that spider just sets it off. Next, I'm gonna start painting. So I forgot to get a paintbrush, so I had this sponge brush. So get a couple different brushes, it'll be easier because I had to go over it a couple times. It's gonna need a couple coats, so let it dry and repaint. Um, definitely get a few more brushes because I had a wash in between and that just makes it more time consuming. So this one's gonna be our ghost one. So I finish up, I'm gonna leave the top clear. I'm not gonna paint that. Um, that's where we're going to place the tea light on. You don't want to glue it on because when this tea light runs out, you're going to want to replace it. So next I'm going to do the orange for our pumpkin. And again, you're going to have to go over it again to make sure um, it's completely covered because it's, once it dries, it looks all like streaky, so you want to add more paint to it. And then I want to paint the top to look like the stem of the pumpkin. So I'm doing the green. Again, try to rotate it, and once that dries, you might want to have to go over another coat or two, depending on how well your paintbrush is. Um, I'm using a sponge brush, so it went on a little smoother, but again, you're going to need to do an extra coat or two. So once that is done, I'm going to start on the Frankenstein one. So... After that, I'm gonna paint this one all green. And again, you wanna apply another coat after it dries just to make sure it sticks and there's no gaps in between. So I'm trying to make everything smooth, but sometimes it drips because it's a little thick. But we're gonna leave the top of the stem to kind of create Frankenstein's hair. <laughs> So when I'm done that, I'm gonna take another little paintbrush and I'm gonna start painting the top black and I'm gonna make some hairline so it looks like his hair. So again, I'm just trying to fill in all the top of the base of the glass and it's kind of hard to paint upside down. Then I'm going back to the ghost after it dries a little and I'm gonna start adding the face. 
So I just did a simple three circles for the ghost size Frankenstein. I when I do the googly eyes, I thought they were pretty neat. So we put on the googly eyes and then I made just a simple zigzag for his mouth. And then I wanted to give him some scars on the top of his head. Looks like stitches. And it was easier with the thin brush. So if you can get one of those, if you're gonna paint faces, that helps really good. So then I went to the pumpkin and just gonna do the triangle eyes and a triangle nose. And then the mouth, I'm gonna try to do like, you know, crooked smile with looks like the teeth. So try to keep it simple. I'm not the world's best painter, but um, I try. So once that's finished, we're gonna let them dry for a little bit and then we'll place the tea lights on top and then everything comes together. Here's my finished product. We have the fall bouquet, the Halloween bouquet, and the three candles with the tea lights on top. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any um, comments, leave them below. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to doing more DIY with you guys. Have a great day. Thank you.